Hey guys, welcome back to uh, GNG Tactical and Outdoors. We're gonna look at something that I acquired at Blade Show 2023 in Atlanta for my friends at RMJ Tactical. <clears throat> They're out in Tennessee. This is gonna be a fixed blade knife. So this is the Oot CD High. It's a uh, fixed blade knife. As you can see the blade steel is Nitro V with burlap camo and black uh, as well. So when you open it up, comes with this cool brochure. Actually, I'm sorry, this is the instruction manual. Talks about all the different ways that you can attach the, uh, the molly to your um, to your sheath. Comes with a cool certificate authenticity. I really like how they do this. This is very unique where it's got the, the wax steel stamp of approval. So made in, handmade in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And they include their uh, RMJ sticker and have some nice padding and here is the knife so let's set this aside and take a look so let me just read you the brief description from the uh, manufacturer website on this particular knife the wood city high is a mid-sized fixed blade knife that is well suited for everyday carry and is also well equipped for various cutting chores a great knife to take along on a hike or camping trip the wood city high is made from Nitro V stainless steel with a Rockwell hardness rating of 59 through 60. Uh, the blade features a three and a half inch, the knife features a three and a half inch blade that includes a tungsten Cerakote finish for corrosion resistance and durability. Weighing in at only four and a half ounces, the Oud CD High is deceptively light, but tough as nails featuring a full tang with bolt-on handle construction. This is one tough and durable little knife. The beveled and contoured grips feature a diagonal texturing that offers a very secure grip without being overly aggressive or uncomfortable, performing well in wet or dry conditions. The Ood City High comes with a molded Kydex scabbard, includes two uh, mad straps MED that allow for a scout carry horizontal and inside the waistband uh, vertical carry. The scabbard is intentionally more snug on this model, so it can be run upside down if you would like. The scabbard is uh, molly compatible, so it can be attached to any backpack, um, plate carrier, or similar gear with PALS webbing. The scabbard will work well with most of the popular clips and mounds, uh, like the Discrete Carry Concepts clip and uh, Ulti clip. All right, cool. So yeah, let's give you a closer look. Um, as I was reading that, I was trying to do my best to give you an inside look. So when I saw this at Blade Show, they also made a uh, couple uh, tomahawks with that same um, pattern. And so it just really spoke to me. I thought, you know, that's really cool. I'd like to have that to my collection. I don't have many fixed blades in my collection, number one. And when I like to collect knives, I'm kind of now, I'm just interested in just unique stuff that you don't see. Um, you don't see very many of. So the overall length on this is seven and three quarters inches. Again, the blade length is three and a half inches. Uh, blade thickness is 0.13 inches, 130. And the blade steel is Nitro V with a Rockwell hardness between 59 and 60. The handles are again, the black um, linen Marcarta. And it is available in Dirty Olive G10 and Hyena Brown G10. And the sheath is Kydex. So this is incredibly snug. So as you can see, when you fit it, it is, it, it's not going anywhere. I mean, you do have to apply a lot of pressure to pull this out. So let's do a quick uh, size comparison. Here I've got the uh, Benchmade 539GY Anonymous. So this comes out very easily. So again, this is more of like your bushcrafter type knife. You do a lot of chopping and uh, clear a lot of um, brush. This is more kind of almost, you know, tactical, surgical. And let's see, what else do I have? We also have a Spartan Macau. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. M-A-C-H-A-L. And let's see here. So this has got this quick release. Well, I got a couple fixed blades in my collection here. So um, obviously two different applications for which you can use the knives. And um, let's see here, I'm gonna slide this in back here. So RMJ Tactical, we 
we don't sell them. We're still waiting to become an authorized dealer. I think they have some really cool stuff. I do own the, uh, the Jenny Tomahawk with the Galaxy feature, and we'll probably do a review on that one as well sometime. But look at the grind edge. That's uh, you know, pretty cool how they have that, uh, that grind. Has the jimping here. So this feels really outstanding in my hand. I've got you know medium-sized hands, not a big bear paw. But for me, I, I just, this feels very natural. Like I could grip it, do some work with it. And then, you know, if I were to carry this as a self-defense weapon, I'd feel very confident in putting this, you know, strapping this to my belt loop pants uh, in the back, using that as a you know, self-defense, you know, weapon. Probably takes some getting used to, to break in the, uh, the sheath, getting it in and out, but you really have to push in to get it to, to snap, so. Anyway, I thought this was a really cool pickup. Um, this, I believe, was about $265. Uh, don't quote me. I got to look on the uh, the price sheet. But I'll have the specs on this um, particular fixed blade knife on the website. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like, comment button. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, have you ever heard of the RMJ? Um, I'd be very shocked if you haven't. They're primarily known for their tomahawks and axes. But uh, like I said, when I when I saw that they had that really cool fixed blade um, uh, knife, I knew I just had to have it. So anyway, we appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and can't wait to see you on the next one. Y'all take care.